Kentucky, we had our first trade of the draft. It didn't come until pick 13. And just some slight movement. The 49ers were at 13. They traded back to 14 because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers went up and got an offensive lineman. Our number one ranked offensive lineman, Tristan Wirfs out of Iowa, going to Tampa Bay. Stop me if you've heard this before. There's another great offensive lineman coming out of Iowa. This year, Tristan Wirfs. Wirfs was a three-year starter at Iowa and became the first offensive lineman to start as a true freshman under Kirk Ferentz. Wirfs is a spectacular athlete who mauls defenders in the run game. He also excels as a lead blocker working in space. And he didn't just show up at the combine, he destroyed the combine. Ran a 4.8540 at nearly 6 foot 5 and 320 pounds. He set an all-time record in the vertical jump for an offensive lineman. This is a player that projects as a day one starter at the next level. So Tampa Bay sitting there at 14. They see our number one ranked offensive lineman slide all the way to 13. So they move up one and they get Tom Brady some much needed help on the offensive line. That's one way of looking at it. The other way is John Lynch once again has done it. He's convinced the team he was potentially going to take the player that someone yeah. behind him wanted to take. He did this previously with your team, the Chicago Bears and Ryan Pace. Potentially that year for Mitchell Trubisky, oh, only God. moving back one spot, taking Don't the guy he me. wanted in Solomon Thomas. He does it again here. We'll see who the San Francisco 49ers now on the clock take. But in regards to Wirfs, plug and play player. You know, he played in an NFL system at Iowa. When you look at the upside here again, another guy who's 21 years old, uh, tremendous athleticism. You know, Scott Pioli talked about his wrestling background. He's got a track background as well. Uh, incredible young man. This was a no brainer, I think, for the Tampa Bay Bucks. They're going all in right now to win. Super Bowl. And it's not just a background. I mean, he was the best at all that stuff. He won a wrestling state championship. He won a state championship uh, well, in the shot at how he's in the built, discus. He's got those big tree trunk legs. He's got a great center of gravity the way he moves. He just He's a good athlete, and he's still just a baby. I mean, that's the scary thing is this guy's going to be a household name in Tampa for a long time. Let's go to the old guy with the wide shoulders. Pete Prisco joining us here on CBS Sports HQ. What's the grade, Pete? It's a B, and the reason I give this a B is I think it's a solid pick because I don't think there's that much difference between all four of these tackles. I had Andrew Thomas as my number one rated tackle, but I don't think there's much of a difference between one, two, three, and four. And in fact, a lot of teams had him in all kinds of different orders. So I like the pick. Now, they gave up a fourth to go up and get him, and they got back a seven. That's a little steep to move up one spot, but this team is all in. And the one position that was con most concerning on their line was right tackle. And now you got a right tackle, you have an interior with Jensen, Kappa, and, and Marpet that's very good, and you have Donovan, Donovan Smith at left tackle. The Bucks offensive line in front of Tom Brady, really good. Bucks receivers and tight ends, counting Rob Gronkowski, really good. Tom Brady's gonna love this. Uh, Scott Pioli knows Tom Brady very well, uh, also knows uh, Kirk Ferentz very well, the head coach of Tristan Wirfs at the University of Iowa. I know you got to love this pick, Scott. Yeah, no, I, I really love this pick. And Jason Light, who I worked with in New England also, I love this pick. I love this trade. It's interesting. In 2003, we made this same exact trade. We were at 14, uh, and the Chicago Bears were at 13. We moved from 14 to 13 because we knew the Bears wanted a defensive lineman. We wanted a defensive lineman. We moved up one spot, gave up a sixth-round pick to get Ty Warren, who became a terrific player for our championship teams, and they took Michael Hanson out of Penn State. They got the player that they wanted. They got our sixth round pick, but we were happy to give it up. Talking about this trade here, I really like to trade the move by the Buccaneers to move up because this, this is my favorite tackle in draft. Again, a young player who was a state champion wrestler, state champion wrestler in Iowa, a three-time disc and shot state champion. He has so much explosion in his body, not only in the weightlifting that he does and not only in the throws that he does, he has tremendous balance, but he displays that in his football play as well. He's one of these players who can translate the strength, explosion, balance that he's shown in other sports and other parts of his life and translate it to the football field. This is a terrific pick. Now, 
I think that he is going to be a good player to start with as a starter, but I think his best football is going to be ahead of him. He is going to be a double-digit starter and a very good player in the National Football League. Terrific trade, in my opinion, by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, he's uh, been making noise on social media tonight. Tristan Wirfs, that is. Amanda Guerra has been all over that. Amanda, show us what the Wirfs family has been up to. Yeah, you guys, this is such a neat story with Tristan Wirfs. You guys talked about what a great guy he is. He comes from a great family. Uh, if we have the video, he actually actually rolled out a red carpet for his mom. His mom's name is Sarah, and you see it there. She's walking down the red carpet. So when Tristan Wurst was growing up, uh, Chris, I know you're from Iowa. He grew up in Mount Vernon. It's about 4,400 people. How sweet is this, you guys? So his mom was a single mom of two. They actually lived in a trailer park until he was about five years old. And she told her kids, she goes, you know what? You're always going to have everything you need, but I can't guarantee you're always going to have everything you want. And she said it really took a family effort, his coaches, his teachers, to get him to this point. Uh, so it's just a dream come true for his entire family tonight. Back to you guys. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.